First up, ESPN sportscaster Erin Andrews is the victim of a video assault. Apparently, somebody's been following her around and drilling holes in walls in hotels to tape her undressing. Now, the shots have appeared on the Internet, and her attorney says the situation has reached criminal status. With us now, FoxNews.com correspondent Courtney Friel and Fox News anchor Jane Skinner. All right, Jane, we'll uh, begin with you on, uh, on this uh, Aaron Andrews thing. We're not going to show you any more of that, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I had to show you what, the, uh, what they think is criminal intent here, but, you know, I, I'm not going to show any more video of it. Because it, it, this is really ultra disturbing, and I think a very serious crime. Yeah, she's 31 years old, as you said, sports reporter for ESPN. Happens, maybe if you noticed, to be drop dead gorgeous. Playboy's sexiest sportscaster of the year, a couple of years running. In a hotel room, and possibly even in more than one hotel room, this may have happened to her twice. Some sicko sets up one of those little tiny cameras, and maybe in the peephole of her door, maybe they think. No, no, they, they drilled, drilled holes, the holes. Yeah. Yeah, a couple had the different room next to her and, and, and did that kind of a thing. A couple of different theories out there. Um, she was walking around by herself. She was naked. You saw doing her hair, doing her makeup. What did they do with the video? What do you think? They of put course, it online. Right on the She's popular on the blogs. It hit the blogs. And then a couple of days ago, her attorney said it is indeed her. What kind of a, of a world we live in, Courtney, if you can't even go into your hotel room and you know, live that's, a normal life. That's why this is a big deal, because women everywhere are going to be so paranoid. And it's 2009. Unfortunately, there are cameras everywhere. everywhere. And I guess you just have to pretty much either keep your clothes on or stay in shape. It's crazy. And be comfortable um, with yourself. But the, people make mistakes anyway, trusting people they shouldn't trust and, and getting into situations like that. And, and we understand that. But once you're stalked, so I feel that this should be a felony and, and that states have to now start to introduce new laws about cyber stalking. Well, cyber stalking laws. Courtney and I were just talking about this. 19 states, only 19 states have these peeping Tom laws. There's but it has to go beyond peeping Tom. It has to go into cyber stalking with intent to put on the internet. See, a peeping Tom, what that sicko does is just look at something and run away and whatever. This has been put on the internet worldwide. All right, so it, the, the crime is so much more intense. So cyber stalking has to become a felony. I and, believe. and scammers are taking advantage of this. If you try to look for this video, don't because they'll send you an email saying they have the clip and a virus will mess up your computer. Oh, you're, you're in a lot of trouble or you're uh, still tracking that thing down. And a lot of people will say that the laws are outdated because when you talk about civil cases, does she have a civil case here? These websites are protected by federal law and it's a law that's from 1996. We have to revise that whole thing, that a whole criminal code on the internet has to be revised. Okay.